Welcome to the video lecture series of Great in Chemistry. Today we will discuss about carbon and its compounds and the topic is bonding in carbon. Carbon is always forms a covalent bond. But before going to that concept, we should know why carbon is not forming an ionic bond. This is very very important question. And you know the atomic number of carbon is 6. So the electron configuration is KCl, it will have 2 electrons and L, it will have 4 electrons. Which means carbon is an atom in which in its nucleus it will have 6 positive charge and including KCl and L shell it will have 6 negative charge. Which means the atom is electrically neutral by balancing 6 positive and 6 negative charges. Usually the reactivity of every element we are explaining in terms of its ability to attain a completely filled outer means the valence shell. If the atoms are not completely attained, the octet configuration they are looking for to attain it. Okay. In a periodic table, you already know that noble gases only will have the completely filled configuration. That's why the noble gases are very, very stable. In the case of carbon, it is having two tendencies, like due to four electrons in the last shell. Okay. It can either gain 4 electrons or it can lose 4 electrons. If it gains 4 electrons, you know, what will be the situation? Suppose if carbon atom gains 4 electrons. So, in the second shell, okay, so there will be now 8 electrons, which means carbon, K shell, it, ha it will have 2 electrons and in the L shell, now it gained 4 more electrons. So, overall it will be 8 so, both including K-shell and L-shell, we have 10 electrons. But in the nucleus, you know, carbon will have only 6 protons. So, the nuclear charge is 6 positive. So, nucleus will feel very difficult to hold 10 electrons because it is beyond its capacity. Okay. So, if it could gain 4 electrons and form a C4 minus anion, why C4 minus anion? Because if an atom gain one electron, it will form one minus charge. But carbon, suppose if it gain four electron, it will form a C4 minus anion. But if it gains four electron, the overall charge around the atom is more than the capacity of the nucleus to hold the electron. Because the nucleus will have only six positive charge. And around the nucleus, the nuclear uh, electronic charge is 10 negative. Which means it would be very, very difficult for the four, six positive charge to hold the 10 electrons. Okay. So, that's why carbon is not gaining any four electrons and form C4 minus anion. This is one of the reasons why carbon is not forming any ionic bond. The second condition is that if carbon can lose four electrons, okay, if it could lose four electrons, you know, and it can form a C positive, C4 positive cation. When atom loses electron, it forms a positive charge, char positively charged ion. So C losing 4 plus electron and form C4 positive ion. Okay, this we say cation. But if it loses 4 electrons, so what will be the condition of the nucleus now? Nucleus again will have 6 positive charges. But Surrounding the nucleus, K shell will have 2 electrons and L shell already lost its 4 electrons. So, overall charge on the electron is 2 minus. See, look at the condition now. A nucleus will have 6 positive charge and surrounding the nucleus, we have only 2 negative charge. And the thing is that to lose these 4 electrons, you know, losing 4 electrons requires large amount of energy. So, that it is very, very difficult for an atom to suddenly lose 4 electrons and attain octet condition. Okay. So, a large amount of energy is needed to remove these 4 electrons so that the carbon will have C4 positive cation so that it will have 6 positive charge in the nucleus and 2 electrons in the cation. So, this is not happening right? because it requires a large amount of energy to lose 4 electrons and thereby forming an cation. Okay. So, in the case of carbon, it does not form a cation or it forms a, nor it forms a anion. 
okay so that's why carbon is not forming any ionic bond so why carbon is not forming an ionic bond because if it could gain four electrons and forming a c4 minus anion it would be difficult for the nucleus with a six protons to hold on to 10 electrons okay then if it could lose four electrons and forming c4 plus cation then again it would require a large amount of energy to remove four electrons leaving behind a carbon cation with the six proton its nucleus holding on to just two electrons so both due to these two conditions carbon is not at all forming any ionic bond 